smoke, drink, snuff or prostitute as demanded fellows. While in the world, you were always fearful and you were with problems of one sort or the other at all times, and you were afraid of even your shadows. But now you are free from all these tribulations. In the world you never went out in the night, because you suspected everything and everybody around you, but now all things are friends and brothers and mean no harm to you. Some of your friends are trying to stop smoking and snuffing like you, but they cannot do it because of the evil spirits which are still taking dominion over them, and unless they put on the new creature, which is our Lord Jesus Christ, it will not be possible. Those of you who were easily irritated, now you no longer get easily annoyed. And as recorded in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 49 to 51 you have been changed. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 49 to 51. And as we have borne the image of the earthy, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery, we shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 49 to 51. There has never been any expression of love in man, except in Jehovah God and his Christ. Has any man ever got the attributes of God such as love, joy, peace, humility, faith, hope, etc.? Have you ever seen a person who is addressed as a witch, bloodsucker, yet he never takes people to court and he is never worried or annoyed for being so addressed? When you drive him away he comes again to you. In years gone by, you were going about with baskets of tribulations and tears, but today, you are all changed into new creatures without problems. John chapter 14 verse 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. John chapter 14 verse 12. You are now free from all types of encumbrances in life. The churches which burn candles, beat drums, and burn incenses cannot raise the dead, but in brotherhood, there is no burning of candles, incense or beating of drums, yet numerous miracles are being performed daily in different parts of the world. While you were in the world, you decorated yourselves with various types of mystic rings or talisman, charms and amulets, yet various types of problems and sicknesses engulfed you, and you, with your bucket of tears, roaming about the world hopelessly in search of salvation. But right now you are free. Some of you who could not see vision go to necromancers to preach to them. Some of your friends refuse to greet you or shake hands with you, because they are now afraid of the father who is in you, and some close their doors against you. Those who wanted to destroy you with some diabolical means, now run away, whenever they see you, because they think, you have been initiated into one of the highest and the most powerful societies in the world. As a matter of fact, nobody believes, there is nothing diabolical in brotherhood, except those who are physically here. If you go to offer someone prayers the first day, the second day the person will not accept it from you, because the prayers offered the previous day had rendered all the person's charms and concoctions useless. This is so, because our Lord Jesus Christ takes dominion over you, and as such no evil things could prevail anymore. Some of you, on whose lives several attempts had been made, are now being blackmailed. They say the leader gives you something to use for protection. Any place your names are taken to, the concoctions or charms there are rendered useless. The people of the world can recommend any kind of church for you to attend, but as for brotherhood nobody wants its existence. While in the world you hardly ever speak in the public or before people, but right now you are bold and courageous enough to stand before people anywhere and speak confidently. All these are possible because of the water baptism you received. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 35 to 40. But some man will say, How are the dead raised up? And with what body do they come? Thou fool, that which thou sawest is not quickened, except it die, and that which thou sawest, thou sawest not that body that shall be, but their grain, it may chance of wheat, or of some other grain, but God giveth it a body, as it hath pleased him, and to every seed his own body. All flesh is not the same flesh, but there is one kind of flesh of men, another flesh of beasts, another of fishes, and another of birds. There are also celestial bodies, and bodies terrestrial, but the glory of the celestial is one, and the glory of the terrestrial is another. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 35 to 40. 
There are bodies which are of the earth, and are earthy and those from above are heavenly. For example, when you plant yam tubers in the ground, these will die and bring forth fresh, new and better yams of their kind. The explosive population in Nigeria shortly after the civil war was a result of the many people who died, went and multiplied and came back. You often see various types of rats, flies, bats, wall gecko, etc. changing themselves into various planes of creations. As your faces are different so also are your various places of abode, as many of you are from the moon, sun, stars, water, etc. You ought to look at nature very objectively, because his wisdom is beyond the research of man's understanding. If the yam tubers buried in the ground do not die, new yam tubers cannot, for sure, be harvested. Malachi chapter 4 verses 2 to 6. But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth, and grow up, as calves of the stall. And ye shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in the day that I shall do this, saith the Lord of hosts. Remember ye the law of Moses my servant, which I commanded unto him in Horeb for all Israel, with the statutes and judgments. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord, and he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children, and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. Malachi chapter 4 verses 2 to 6. A time shall come when even your elder brother who died will come to disclose to you, he is your brother, but you will not know him. You have heard, Elijah was transformed, but should the people keep the picture of Elijah to compare with his former face, they will see, that it is not the same. While he is the same person, they doubted him because of their unreasonableness. Who was John the Baptist? He was Elijah. Matthew chapter 11 verse 14. Men are just like you and tubers, they go and multiply, just as Jehovah God had said, but the process is a mystery not known to humanity. Luke chapter 1 verse 17. And he shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elias, to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children, and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just, to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. Luke chapter 1 verse 17. See Matthew chapter 11 verses 12 to 14. And from the days of John the Baptist until now the kingdom of heaven is a fair of violence, and the violent take it by force. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John. And if ye will receive it, this is Elias, which was for to come. Matthew chapter 11 verses 12 to 14. See also Mark chapter 9 verses 11 to 13. And they asked him, saying, Why say the scribes that Elias must first come? And he answered and told them, Elias verily cometh first, and restoreth all things, and how it is written of the Son of Man, that he must suffer many things, and be set at naught. But I say unto you, that Elias is indeed come, and they have done unto him whatsoever they listed, as it is written of him. Mark chapter 9 verses 11 to 13. Brethren, you will realize, that there is nothing in changing you, into newer and more beautiful creatures, as many of you have come as much as five times, though it is not meant, for you to know. This is just God's purpose as the only kid who knows the secret of his kingdom. Brethren, I shall not be tedious unto you. Let my peace and blessing remain and abide with you. Amen. Thank you Father, 